Assalamu alaikum dear friends today in 2020 i'm here to explain and telling the six steps of hypothesis testing for me which nobody tells you about that their steps i will discuss step by step so don't skip any step and after watching their lecture you have to build the and full grip in solving any problem or numerical of hypothesis testing i guarantee 100 percent so let's start the lecture is the given for a first step first step is have now hypothesis a second point is alternative hypothesis for null hypothesis we have mu is equal to mu naught and that's mu is the population mean and mu naught is the value of me just like you can say that mu is equal to 5 here 5 is you can say that mu naught that's the value of for that next you can say that mu naught is the value of me value of me so that step will be here mu get than equal to mu naught and mu less than equal to mu naught and that step for here now next will be for alternative case we have mu here will be equal, here will be does not equal mu naught. Here is greater than, here will be mu less than mu naught. Here is less than equal to, we have the case, greater than mu naught. You already know that null hypothesis is for rejection, is for rejection, and alternative hypothesis is for acceptance. So that's other cases I told you that a will be does not equal, a will be equal, a will be less than quantitative, a will be greater than equal, a greater than a will be less than. That's the first step of hypothesis testing. Next, second step is here, which is level of level of significance. Second step is here, level of significance, which is alpha. Most common values of alpha you know that most common value of values of alpha are alpha are five percent or one percent most common value you can say that alpha is equal to zero by zero five or you can say that alpha is equal to zero by zero five which you know that we know that now now we will the third step third step is test testing Number third step. Third step is test statistic. Test statistic, you know that this is the formula which we can say that calculated values. First point. I'm telling you uh, that points will be here. And uh, you can say that three four points will be here. A, B, and C. Three points are very, very important. I am discussing here which nobody tells you about that first point A first point A is when if you have any if you have to face any problem or numerical of hypothesis testing in which when sigma or which is standard deviation or sigma square which is variance is given are given then we use the formula you can say that Z is equal to X bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by under root of and that formula is in use when you have that problem B point when sigma if you face any problem when sigma or sigma square not given and sample size is greater than equal to 30 very important big point 30 can see that sample size for example uh, 30 35 40 you can say that 100 sample size is greater than equal to 30 then then we do not use that formula formula will be changed as you can see that z is equal to x bar minus mu divided by as divided by under root of 5 here will be as 
this is the standard deviation L is for formula A is mission x minus x bar completely scale to x and dash s is for bias data dash s is for bias data next last point is a when sigma or sigma square not given and if there is any problem in half sample size is less than 30 less than 30 you can say that sample size is you can say that 10 20 25 up to so on the sample size is less than 30 then we do not use that formula formula will be changed as t is equal to because that's the t distribution t distribution when sample size is less than 80 we will use students t distribution t is equal to x bar minus mu divided by s divided by under root of n so that's all we will use here and that s is square root of smission x minus x bar completely square divided by n minus 1 so that s is unbind that s is unbind so these are three secrets and tricks to show that a key point from that you can easily calculate the values of hypothesis testing now moving the four step and next step is here four step four step is here you can see that four step is here calculation calculation of z or t you can say that calculative value you can say that calculative value of z calculative value of t so first step is the calculation of that value after putting x bar mean sigma and we get the value of z calculated value so that is the four step calculation now moving the five step five step is critical region which is main point which is the main ending point of that now now next point is there five step five step is here which is critical region very very important critical region that is a very very main topic I'm discussing here very very important in solving any problem critical region 4.4 you can say that for two tail for two tail test you can say that when h1 is off does not equal in that case we have two positions as you can say that that's the shape of normal distribution or the shape of t distribution minus 3t to plus 3t for two tail we have z alpha by 2 and here will be minus z alpha by 2 is that clear next point if we have next point is there if if z calculated value as a calculated value z shows that calculated value of z is less than minus z alpha by 2 first case next here is second case z calculated value is greater than z alpha by 2 must remember if z calculated value is less than this then conclusion will be reject h naught reject h naught for that case clear next if z calculated value is greater than this we will conclusion will be reject h naught now moving the next point in both case we have to conclusion one one conclusion we have to calculate one conclusion must remember that if in both case we have reject as not conclusion will be reject as not i hope that you have clear concepts in that that you can say that first point now moving the second point. 
Now moving here. Second point. Second point is here. If that if that calculated value is that calculated value is less than a will be greater than minus the alpha power by 2. Next case. If z calculated value is less than z alpha by 2. Now, if z calculated value is greater than this, a will be conclusion accept as not. Because he has the opposition. Next. And test case will be same accept as not. Is that clear? Now, conclusion will be 1. Conclusion will be 1. So that's for that case, accept as not, accept as not. Conclusion here will be accept as not. I hope that you have clear concept in that. That's the second point. Now moving the third point. Now moving here, third point. Now moving here, third point. Third point is if z calculated value is less than minus the alpha 2 as it is that case I already told you that if less than a will be reject as not. Conclusion will be reject as not. But if here in that case z calculated value is less than the alpha by 2 a will be case accept as not. Accept as not. In that clear conclusion will be one. Conclusion will be one. What is that? If reject as not, a second case is accept as not. Or you can say that, or in first case we have accept as not. And here we have reject as not. For both, for that and for that, we have one conclusion which is conclusion will be reject as not. We are clear? Accept, reject, conclusion, reject as not. Reject, accept, conclusion will be reject as not. That's the third point. I hope that you have clear concept in two days and similarly and similarly as you know that if we have shape just like that here for that for normal distribution and if we have normal t distribution t alpha by 2 v and minus t alpha by 2 v in that case that is just like that you can say that every steps will apply in here these are both same these are t is that normal distribution and t distribution are same that case is that third point also apply in t distribution i hope that you have clear concepts now moving the next point for till i have discussed now we see here one thing For one tail. For one tail. One tail we have case, you can say that alternative, alternative is less than or greater than. When we have shape, just like you can say that, when we have shape, H1 is, H1 is shape, that's greater than, and that's case, we have here, H1 is less than. Now the next thing, the shape T distribution or you can say that that shape of normal distribution, both shapes are same. In which case will be when we have that sign that B shows here will be Z alpha. These are one tail, you can say that one sided. One sided. One sided we have always Z alpha. One sided we have always Z alpha. Not, not the alphabet. Not the alphabet. Just the alpha for one sided for one day. That's case. And here will be case. This B shows here will be minus the alpha. That's clear point. For that, to this 
and then do this. That's clear. Next point. If now with the next point, if then calculated value you calculate is greater than z alpha, then we have conclusion. Then conclusion, then conclusion will be reject as not. That's clear. But if that calculated value is calculated value is less than z alpha, conclusion will be uh, accept as not. Conclusion will be accept as not. That's clear. Is greater than z alpha, reject as not. If calculated less than z alpha, we will be have accept as not. That's the conclusion. Next point. If that calculated value is less than minus z alpha, we conclusion will be here. Conclusion will be here. Reject as not. Reject as not. And that step will be here next. If that calculated value is greater than me minus z alpha, conclusion will be accept as not. So I hope that you have clear concepts in one tape and similarly and similarly we have the case for T alpha T alpha V for positive side T calculated value greater than T alpha V and similar case you can see that similar case will be here for minus T alpha V and similar case will be here for minus T alpha V. These cases will be also applied in T distribution just like same because these are T distribution and distribution are same. I hope that you have clear concepts in that and last point will be here and last step and this is the five step and six step which will have remain. Six step will be conclusion as I already discussed in here reject as not or accept as not that's the conclusion. So I hope that you have clear concepts in that. Thanks for watching the video and also share that lecture, which are very, very beneficial to do. In that, in that secrets and tricks, you can solve any problem, any numerical of people that suggesting. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then kindly must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for get notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.